Oh, hello there. It's me, William Shakespeare, coming to you with a public service announcement. So, there's an illness going around that we all have to take seriously. Well, fun fact, I actually survived multiple plagues in my lifetime, so I'm somewhat of an expert. When I was four months old, the plague of 1564 broke out. A quarter of the population of Stratford-upon-Avon died. But, fortunately for school children everywhere, I survived and went on to write many, many, many works. During the plague of 1603, all the theatres closed their doors. Doesn't that sound familiar? And so, myself, along with the newly named King's Men, took my plays on tour around towns around England. A very popular choice was Romeo and Juliet. There were certain parts in that that received mixed reviews. A plague on both your houses. Yeah, that part didn't go down so well. Fortunately, the plague was over by Christmas, and so the king's men performed at court for the new king for the sum of a hundred and three pounds, plus thirty pounds compensation for lots of income during the plague. So, how do you avoid catching a virus? Well, back in my day, it was generally bubonic plague. So, if you just avoided rats at all costs, you'd probably be okay. Which is information we didn't actually have at the time. Hindsight is a lovely thing. We did, on the other hand, have royal plague proclamations from our new king, which were a sort of plague recipe book, or tips and tricks on how not to die. <laughs> They didn't work. Be sure to cough and sneeze into a kerchief rather than into a hand. Nowadays, you even have disposable kerchiefs. A tissue, if you will. So really, you have absolutely no excuse. Be sure to wash your hands regularly and for at least 20 seconds at a time. In order to time yourself, I would recommend reciting Lady M. Out to the spot, as I say. To avoid touching your face in any way at all not even a little bit nope not even that nope just don't touch your face did you just do something else with your hand you know, sit on your hands just sit on your hands for goodness sake avoid seeing people wherever possible instead send them a virtual letter via social media or tag them in a hilarious meme <laughs> it's funny because it's relatable Move to your second home in the countryside. Sorry, what do you mean that people don't just have second homes in the countryside? <laughs> what? Now it is possible that you will find yourself in quarantine either because you are sick, a member of your household is sick, or because social isolation has become so strict that there is literally no point in going outdoors because there is nothing to do. It's really important to try and not go insane. <laughs> so, here are some tips for other plague-related issues. Run out of toilet paper? Try using old rags or newspapers. I recently discovered a very fabulous medication called Imodium. 
So why can't I promote this? Literally, I took two four days ago, and I literally since then have not had a single sh No hand sanitizer. Use urine. We pretty much used urine for everything back in the day, so I mean, it would probably work, probably. Okay, so I've just been told that apparently urine won't work, uh, but if you combine some gin that's 60% or more, then it might work. Maybe, probably. It'll probably work. No, maybe. If you find yourself stuck at home, you'll probably find that your day loses a lot of its structure. So I would recommend writing a timetable. Even if it's just little things like eat breakfast by eight, write a sonnet by ten, It'll just give your day a bit of structure and make you feel as though you've really achieved something. Not allowed to see anyone? Well then, take up a hobby. Try learning something new. Be creative. Write a poem. Take up painting. Learn how to sew. Knit, maybe. Jog in little circles because you don't have very much space and you can't really go anywhere. Yes, it might really suck being stuck at home for all this time. But I wrote Venus and Adonis during the plague of 1592, and that actually got me really famous. And finally, be kind and check up on one another. You've got the internet now, so you really have no excuse. This has been a public service announcement from Will Shakespeare. This has been a public service announcement from Will Shakespeare. This has been a public service announcement from Will Shakespeare. This has been a public service announcement from Will Shakespeare. This has been a public service announcement from Will Shakespeare.